When I meet with someone to list their home, this question comes up. Victor, what should I do to get the most amount of money for my home? My answer is always the same. Focus on sweat equity. These are the things that you can do if you're a handy person to prepare your home for the market. Because when a buyer comes to view your home, they wanna be sure that it was well taken care of and nothing shows that more than the nine tips I'm about to share with you. So roll the intro. Welcome back everybody, my name is Victor Prasad. I'm a real estate broker here in Southwest Florida, Cape Coral, and if this is your first time here, I create videos on home buying and selling tips. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about nine tips that you can easily do to increase the saleability of your home prior to going onto the market with a bonus tip at the end. Let me know in the comment section below what paint colors you're using in the interior and the exterior of your home. I'm just curious to see what's trending. So let's cover a list of things you can do to increase the saleability of your home. Tip number one, pressure washing. Florida being so humid, generally there is mold or dirt that makes the exterior of the home look dirty and in poor condition. So pressure washing the exterior of the home, like the stucco, soffits, driveways, and sidewalks will help the curb appeal. Tip number two, painting. If the exterior pressure washing doesn't rejuvenate the color of the house, then you should consider painting the exterior of your home. Next, if the interior walls have dings, scratches, or discoloration, you need to paint the walls. Here's a pro tip. To make the paint pop, be sure to paint the baseboard, interior closets, and ceilings white. Tip number three, flooring. Flooring is key. It's generally the hardest thing to have done, especially when living in a property. The flooring usually sets the tone of, for the rest of the home. For example, carpet, if it's stained or in poor condition, replace it. If you have towel flooring, steam clean the grout, and if there are chip or cracked towel, replace it. Make sure the floors are clean. If you have laminate flooring and it's bubbled, scratched, or worn, replace the damaged section. Tip number four, cover plates. Doing this will give you a dollar for dollar return. Changing the light switch plates, electrical outlet cover plates, and or installing blank plates where needed, these items will clean up the look of your walls and give your home an extra level of detail that a buyer would appreciate. Also, you may not even realize how dirty or damaged they are until you see a new one installed. It won't be worth your time to clean. And these cover plates are very inexpensive. Tip number five, light bulb. This may seem like a no brainer, however, I thought I'd mention it here. Be sure that all the light bulbs are the same color and are in working order. For example, if you have a light fixture with four bulbs, make sure that the bulbs are the same color temperature, meaning one of them could be a warm white and the other could be a cool white. Just make sure that they match. Also, if the fixture is broken, not in working order, replace it. Tip number six, your lawn. Landscaping is similar to paint. Everyone has their preference. So keep it simple by mowing the lawn, weed whacking, and trimming back or remove any shrubs that take away from the curb appeal or hinder the view of the front of the home. Tip number seven, plumbing. If you have a leaky toilet, fix it with new internals. If there is water in the sink that is slow to drain, purchase Drano and snake it. Or if there's a leak underneath the sink, it could be you need Teflon tape or a new P-trap. Tip number eight, electrical. Definitely consider hiring a professional. I do not recommend you doing this yourself at all. If there's an electrical outlet that isn't working, or if there's electrical outlet that is 14 inches near a water source and it doesn't have a GFCI, it will be one of the first things to come up on an inspection report, especially with the FHA loan. Tip number nine, damage. If there's anything damaged or broken in the house, such as cabinets, countertops, doors, door handles, knobs, fix or replace it. Bonus tip, remember, condition, condition, condition. The upgrades may or may not give you a return based on the preference of the buyer. However, condition, every buyer expects a home to be in good or great condition. In addition, most of these items on the list are things that could be done on a do-it-yourself basis. Because if a buyer were to come in with their own inspector, they will require you to have a certified contractor that is licensed and insured or bonded to perform these maintenance items that in the end will cost you more money. Thanks again for joining in today. If you like this video, hit that like button, smash subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.